One of the most powerful aspects of the online learning environment is that you and your learners can access this online environment all the time and everywhere. The all the time aspect is really what asynchronous collaboration is about. You and your colleagues and ultimately your learners can access and engage in ideas, information, resources, tutorials, simulations, and so much more at a time that is convenient for them. The ability to post questions and responses in something like a forum or a comment section that supports the resources you are sharing is key to the asynchronous collaboration. I find that an asynchronous tutorial, tips, or resources page that supports a synchronous collaboration session is one of the easiest ways to get familiar and comfortable with developing asynchronous collaborations. For example, in my asynchronous collaboration session, I'll be expanding on the ideas that I introduced in my synchronous collaboration session. You will see that I've created a video expanding on the key points of how I used the BOPS model in my synchronous presentation and also how I support that video with images and information that will help you to build your own synchronous presentations. I regularly use this approach to create tips and resources to support online courses. One of the most common ways I use asynchronous collaboration is to create an assignment tips video and a tips page because as good or as detailed as my assignment descriptions are, there are inevitably additional ideas and perspectives that will supplement or augment my learner's experience. The videos that I create for these types of pages will often be created using Screencast-O-Matic or a similar tool which allows me to capture my desktop and have a picture of my face in the bottom of the screen as I walk through an example or expand on the ideas that will enhance or improve my learner's experience in the course. You can also do this type of desktop and webcam capture with Kaltura that you have access through Moodle. But the reason I use Screencast-O-Matic instead of Kaltura is that I work in a variety of different institutions and settings. So the ability to store these types of videos in the cloud is helpful and it doesn't require my learners to log on to an LMS to view them. I also use Screencast-O-Matic for assignment feedback, so pasting a video link into an email the learner is able to view without having to log into their LMS is also convenient. I've used Kaltura to do the same thing for several years, but because of my mobile needs the different, and the different organizations I work with, I moved to Screencast-O-Matic. You will need to assess your situation and the tools that will be most appropriate for you. For this course, you may want to try Kaltura first. If you're going to do the asynchronous session on your own system, LMS, or website, you may then want to explore other options. We want you to really consider how you can best use asynchronous collaboration in your own context. So if you can use your own system or your own infrastructure, this would be best. Just make sure that you're able to share this resource with all your classmates. Please remember, all institutionally managed learning management systems require login credentials. So unless your institution has created an open LMS environment where you can invite guests or you have the ability to post these on your own website or blog, you may want to simply use the forum within this course. Because you will need to monitor comments and respond promptly, having the system send you email prompts when you get posts or comments is also a helpful feature that will enable you to quickly engage. Make sure that you have this feature on your external sites and that you turn on email notifications in the forum if you are using the forums in Moodle. Like all other authentic learning activities in this course, we encourage you to explore and experiment. You can use the at minimum tools like Kaltura and the forums to be very successful with this activity, but if you wish to explore other options and do this in your own setting, then we encourage you to explore and experiment. Don't forget to make note of all that you are learning through this experience as you go along because in the reflection and learning module you'll have to consolidate and share your experiences.